As President Obama arrives in the Middle East, an audio tape surfaces now suggesting Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden is alive. Our senior editor for Arab Affairs, Octavia Nasser, has heard the tape. So, Octavia, I want to ask you off the bat the process for trying to figure out whether or not it is Osama bin Laden indeed in the first place. Well, first of all, it does sound like Osama bin Laden. For someone like myself and many others who have heard Osama bin Laden over the years, hundreds of hours of Osama bin Laden, it does sound like the man. Uh, and uh, we always wait for CIA voice recognition testing to tell us, to confirm that it is him. But so far, uh, we have no reason to believe it is not him. Uh, the tape is interesting for several reasons. Uh, one, it does uh, somehow give a uh, proof of life if it, it is indeed uh, Osama bin Laden because we've been getting reports from Pakistani officials that they believe Osama bin Laden is dead so now we have uh, a reason to believe that their information is uh, wrong but let's take a listen to a portion of that tape shall we and Obama and Obama and his administration put new seeds of hatred and revenge against America. The number of these seeds is the same as the number of those victims and refugees in Swat and the tribal areas in northern and southern Waziristan. This way, Obama proved that he is walking the same road of his predecessors to build enmity against Muslims and increase the number of fighters against the U.S. while establishing more lasting wars. So in this uh, message, uh, uh, the voice on the tape, uh, the man that believed to be Osama bin Laden, uh, mentions Swat Valley. He mentions the mass exodus from Swat Valley, which happened early May. But he doesn't mention the trip, uh, President Obama's trip to the Middle East or his uh, planned speech uh, to the uh, Muslim world. So we have reason to believe that this message was taped somewhere uh, in early May. Uh, but when Al Jazeera got it, because this tape aired on Al Jazeera, right, we didn't yeah. receive it online as we usually uh, uh, see those tapes surface. Uh, we, have, we have reason to believe that it was hand carried, it was hand delivered to Al Jazeera. And, uh, uh, which we have seen before. Which we have seen before, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that Al Jazeera received it today. Uh, they could have received it before yeah. and timed it uh, to coincide with uh, the president's trip. Kind of brings up the question though, how, how relevant is Osama bin Laden at this point? And that's a very, very good question. Because because, as you heard Ben Wiedemann earlier, the scene, you know, when you talk to Muslims around the world, when you, when you, when you ask them about President Obama, he seems to be enjoying uh, a lot of popularity. He's someone that they look up to, someone that uh, inspires them. So uh, basically, you have many, many people waiting for that speech in Cairo tomorrow. When you listen to that hate language from uh, uh, bin Laden, uh, many experts say that it shows that bin Laden is bankrupt, bin Laden is not relevant. He's just uh, using the hate language, he's using his propaganda just to say, I'm still alive, I'm still on the run. But uh, is he capable of driving attacks against the U.S. or U.S.'s allies? Uh, many experts believe that that is not the case. So he's not that relevant in that sense. But at the end of the day, the question is always, how come this man is still on the run? How come this man is still able to tape messages and send them out? It, the, the, yes. If, in fact, it is, of course, confirmed through the CIA that it is him. Right. And, and the other question, of course, that people ask, how come we only hear audio messages from him? The last message that we saw uh, bin Laden mm -hmm. was, was 2004. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, many reasons for that. One, that he could have changed his looks on, the, on one of his last tapes. We saw him dye his beard which is very unusual for someone like bin Laden, diet uh, black. Uh, so many reasons. One, he could look different. Two, he could look sickly. Uh, three, he probably uh, could also be hiding in, in some place that has no uh, electronics whatsoever. So they mm. bring in a tape, they record the message and run with it instead of uh, uh, taping video. Because, you know, to take video equipment to where he is, that will draw a lot of attention. So many reasons yeah. for that. Yeah. But so far, uh, lately, we only heard audio messages okay. from Laden. All right. Well, we'll stay on top of trying to figure out if, in fact, it is him or not. Octavia Nasser, we sure do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.